the two main stewardship functions we can actually measure are engagement and voting. We have defined in 2014 three core topics of engagement, namely energy transition, fair working conditions and business ethics. These three core topics remain central to all our engagement activities today, but also for at least the medium term. We engage both directly with issuers, but also through collaborative investor groups, alliances, initiatives that aim at improving the level of discussions with issuers, but also, of course, to bring positive change. In 2021, we voted at more than 2,000 annual and special meetings, and in two-thirds of the cases, we voted against management at least for one topic. As in previous years, compensation items generate majority of a vote against. Our assessment is based on pay-for-performance principle, which means, in particular, that transparency and disclosure are key, especially for performance criteria. We expect them to be relevant, measurable, whether they are financial or non-financial criteria, and targets must be sufficiently challenging. On the dialogue side, in 2021, we targeted more than 270 issuers directly and more than 4,000 through our collaborative dialogues. They respectively account for 35% and 86% of Candrium asset under management, considering corporate equity and bond instruments in direct lines. The actual materialization of the pandemic has changed habits, but also perspectives at all levels. And pandemic has become a revealing factor. It exacerbates inequalities and poor working conditions. So in that context, the S, so the social in the ESG topics has gained in visibility. COVID-19 has not reduced the climate agenda for responsible investors. On the contrary, emergency is more than ever topical. Two years after the initial outbreak of the pandemic, climate change, extreme weather events, loss in biodiversity, they are all leading the rankings of global challenges, both in the strength of their potential impact and in the probability of their occurrence. Corporate say on climate resolutions flourished, while investors increasingly analyzed the quality of corporate energy transition plan. This is a positive trend, but we expect financial market to be more demanding. And when we joined in 2021 the Net Zero Asset Management Initiative, it's also to push for a better at financial market level. Because the planet and us, we do not have the luxury of waiting. Greenhouse gas emissions must be reduced by 50% by 2030. Responsible investors have definitely a role to play when we talk about positive impact on society, economy, environment. And now we understood that with others you can go further. Ahead of us, a lot of collaborative initiatives where Candrium will be actively engaged in. So our core topics, energy transition, fair working conditions, business ethics, will still drive our medium term priorities. So for 2022, our recent net zero commitments will definitely shape both our voting and engagement dialogue activities. So the quality of short, medium-term greenhouse gas emission targets or the consistency between commitments and capital allocations or accounting practices. Here are some examples of the points we will cover both in our dialogue and voting activities. And especially for issuers impacting the most negatively the carbon footprint of our portfolios. The importance of human capital, both in the direct and indirect workforce and associated due diligence, 
as well as assurance of a just transition, will continue to be paramount for us. Finally, and in a context of uncertainty with an increasing number of conflict uh, zones, for instance, the importance of business ethics and respect of the fundamental rules of good governance will remain at the heart of our concerns.